So welcome back into another backtesting session. As you can see, this was the 8th of March. This was the last session that we reviewed. Uh, with were on a very bullish bias. You can see price making consistently higher highs and higher lows. And that uh, will be, I mean, that's the last day that we uh, saw together in the previous video. We're going to now move to, uh, the, of course, the following day. So this was the third. This is the blackboard. So not watching okay we're coming into the 9th of uh, march and uh, let's see how the price is moving so we're coming into new york open over here we can see that the price uh, is still not a lot of volume looks like it's making some lower highs and lower lows uh, at the start of the after 20 a.m eastern what i would be looking for would be mainly breaking up above this area or possible further strong uh, breakdown uh, below this area well, what we can see is that of course i don't want to take the first trade after the spike in volume so let's see what the direction will actually end up being okay so so far not uh, it's not open yet it's opening right now so i will wait for a clear direction for the price to move and i will wait for these areas to be broken let's see okay you can see very strong volume this is very most likely most likely the 8 20 a.m eastern candle and we have yes and then we have the uh, 8 30. so we can see that there's a clean break a retest of this area with a possible entry over there let's see if it goes 45 pips Okay, another retest. Okay, it's breaking. Let's see if it breaks below this area. No, it's staying above. So, as you can see, this is a winning trade. Okay, plus 45. Okay, so. As you see, if you miss the first entry, you would have this retest, multiple retests of this area to take advantage of the bullish move. And now we have this strong key level or, um, for our PSA that we want to see broken for further uh, buys. Or I would love to see a retest of these previous highs for then the end of the pullback. Okay, so let's say and we probably really want to take this entry let's see if it bounces back up or it wants to retest further down yeah, it goes so far 30 pips let's see if it breaks above it's making a new high which is good yeah and it's actually a winning trade very good Plus 45. Let's see above there if there's just enough uh, volume for the continuation. But the pips and another win. Yeah. Three very easy wins in a row based on uh, simple price action. Plus 45, plus 45, yes. And we're coming into 8, 8 a.m. Again, if you missed this one, you had the, your entries over there. So, very good. What I would love to see is now a retest of this PSA for possible continuation bullish. <clears throat> if I was in uh, still uh, looking for trades, mainly these areas. Okay, we have a first stop. We might possibly take an aggressive entry. I will now result in a loss. In a loss, that will be the first sign of um, possible shift in uh, in the structure. So let's see. Minus fifteen.
Okay, let's see now if the price the price action can give us uh, some further some sell scalps due to this PSA is being broken on the downside. Okay, we have a daily test of these previous lows. Okay, but to retest this in eyes, it's failing to break above. And then it's possibly a continuation down here. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, this will be the uh, the trades of today. Okay. So let's move on to the next one. Okay, which is this one. Okay. 10th of March. So we're coming into New York Open around here and we can clearly see that price created two structures, one top and one bottom. And as uh, the previous one, I would love to see clear price action above or clear price action below. Okay. Okay, let's see what was the news over here. At uh, on the tenth of March. Okay. Uh, da, 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 March uh, the tenth. Ah, we had an NFP. Okay, because it was a Friday. Yes, so uh, we had NFP, which came out uh, a little bit mixed, I would say. We can see that it's, it's actually uh, better than expected, but still way worse than the previous one, because also the previous one was revised on the downside, and the unemployment was actually uh, increasing and a bunch of negative numbers so i will be bullish on the gold so i will wait for the uh, clean retest of these psa's but i will also need to be quite fast because it might not give the the full retracement during such high volume time let's see if we have a retest over here then i will take the buy at any candle closing over there possibly already that one okay let's see if i enter over there if i enter this candle yeah there will probably be a loss so okay probably first loss but then when do i want to see and that's because it, it, the retracement was to our archi level or strong for our psa um i will probably re-enter when I see the bounce, okay. Also, would have been even safer to take the breakout instead of the this retest. But yeah. Anyway, let's say that I took this entry over here, which is basically the same. No, it's not the same because in this case I already see a double top over here that will be validating the okay it was just a deeper pullback so I will take that on the upside and that will go yeah that that is a win already so that's is a a win we have a plus forty five after a minus 15 and let's see if we have another opportunity above this area this area okay this might also be another entry already yes oh, the fact that the price is staying above this area it's very good so far let's see there is enough volume 
Okay, let's say that so far I will probably this entry would have not been a win, would have been a loss. I will wait for price action to break above over here now. I've seen this pullback. Let's see now how the price is reacting to this previous PSA. If it's failing to break, we might see a deeper correction. Otherwise, I'm taking the buys above that. That's a new for our candle. Price is breaking above and staying above. Not very strongly, I would say, but uh, still staying above after grabbing some liquidity. And this was like one, two, three, four. One, two, three. Yeah, almost like a 60% retracement. Let's see if now we have the continuation bullish. Okay, so so far it looks like the. Uh, let's see if an entry over here will have been stopped out because it's 12 pips, I would say. So an entry exactly over there. I don't think that would be stopped out, but I think that would have been a win. Um, this one, yes, would be a loss for sure. Uh, let's see further on. Yeah, price is moving up consistently. So let's see here, if I took an entry at this PPL at 1845, 1843.7, and that would almost be, I think that would probably be a loss with the spread. This one would have been a loss, and I will probably have to re-enter afterwards. I run over there because we are still on very strong bullish bias. It's just that these breaker retests are quite sketchy. So uh, I, I don't know if uh, I will be able to re-enter over there. Let's see the uh, part B of this this day. Okay, so we are still very bullish. We are seeing the reaction at the key level. Let's see if we break above. And we tested it. As you can see, very clean perception. That's a win. Let's see break every test above the next one. Probably with the entry around here. Okay, that will be another win. Then we have possibly probably break a retest of this area. Let's see if it continues to keep going up. No, so far we see the first break below. Not entering here because my TP will be it over there. So still in my first trade. I will want to see this area to be broken on the upside in order to be uh, still more bullish. But we are still seeing uh, that the pullbacks are making new higher lows. But I want to see further continuation bullish and volume to continue up going up. So as you see, we don't get a retest of this area exactly on the dot. Uh, so there is no real entry so far. And that's quite a shame. But no. Uh, that, uh, That's really no, no real entry. That's the only thing that I would probably have taken. The full correction afterwards. But it's still after New York, after the London, London close. But yeah, you see that the price is breaking below and retesting it, staying below. That would have been your possible bearish entry. 
after seeing the source stone from bias over there but i'm not counting it as a win trade because i did not anticipate it uh, only in my head so let's move on to the next one which is the of course the following monday the 13th so we are still uh, we're already moving very very okay now new york open now is at two so okay we are still moving with a lot of volume after the uh, friday's um nfp and unemployment rate showing strong strong uh, gold i would say very very weak usd of course I would love to see a clean breakout of this area for possible continuation bullish. Okay. Coming into this is 820. You can see uh, waiting for uh, some reaction, some volume coming in. Possibly taking now this breakout after seeing these strong higher highs and higher lows being printed. As you can see, that's a winning trade at the start of the session. Very good. Okay. Now let's see what is the actual reaction. Now we are react and see if we have some market structure being created. I don't know if on Monday there was any news. A retest of the key level of the yeah, key level of PSA. Let's see if now we see the continuation or we fail to break above. Yeah, it looks like we failed to break above. I don't think that would be 30 pips. I will try to see it later on. Might be break even, but yeah. Now, are we seeing a correction over here, or we fail to uh, we fail to break above this level again? Yeah, we're breaking above, then immediately correcting it. Okay, a retest of this area, as expected. And now this is a winning trade. <clears throat> okay, with also these retest over here. Let's see if it goes 40 pips. No, we see that the price is reacting to this key level and then pushing back down so that would be a loss like this one like this one minus 15 okay so let's see or can we expect we can can we expect the price to uh, stay below this level for possible continuation bearish? We can expect the retest of this area for continuation bearish or the last higher low for the safest continuation bearish. Otherwise, if I'm seeing strong continuation bullish from this level, let's or even buys above this area. If I were seeing a reaction for a possible first high risk high reward entry, if we want just to risk our profits. That would be a win trade. And this win trade is just fueling us for further more trades. Because I mean, yes, 
you can see we have this break and retest of these lows, possibly this entry again, even though I will still be in this trade, so that's not really uh, doable. Okay, so let's see. After, let's see if we fail to break above again with this possible entry. Yeah, that will be a losing trade. Okay, now we bounce from these lows, so it's actually uh, that's I, I should have possibly uh, probably been <coughs> looking for a buy. But now let's see if we have further occasion after uh, above these these eyes. Possible break and retest of these eyes. We only go 20 pips and then continuation down. So as you can see, <coughs> the only um, if we took this entry would have been a loss. That was 15. If we took this entry, uh, where was that? Over here. Let's say that would have been a loss. And I was not able to understand that we were shifting into this bullish bias again. And I, I failed to see, for example, these retests of these previous weeks for a possible continuation bullish. And you can see that it was retested afterwards. So it was uh, a big, being stuck in a single bias. Yeah. But hey, let's see. Uh, yeah, afterwards, let's see what happens. Okay, so with the blackboard, let's move to the next one. Okay, so uh, we are coming over here. This was the trade. Okay, now. We are going to have this retest over here. Perfectly. Let's see if we have a clear break and retest of these previous eyes. The price is just moving on and on. Yes, even a retest over here of these previous weeks will only be a break even trade. And yes, so let's say minus 15, and that will be a loss. And but now we might see a shift in the, in the bias. I mean, here there, there was no entry unless I took really this breakout candle, but yeah. And when do we where could I have a shift into bearish bias? Would it have been already over there or below these lows? Otherwise, I would want to monitor this level. I want to see this, I want to see a strong this, but I'm still we have these previous PSAs. Yeah, so far, we're coming back bullish, as you can see over here. Difficult entry, the, the trade idea was good. Uh, but the, the execution would have been very, very hard over here. And let's see if buy section gives us further uh, continuation, some further buys. Probably might take a retest over there. But yeah, not, not really. Not really. And then we have a retest of these highs. <clears throat> Let's see if we will have a retest of this one as well. No, nope. So, um, the, the trade idea was good, but was difficult to execute on. And with the break and retest uh, setup, well, would have, could have I uh, executed better? Probably seeing the end of the pullback over here, so the bouncing from this level. 
for example, with this entry for the continuation bullish for a very high risk high reward entry after the break and retest of these lows but we are coming from a, such a strong bearish momentum that was quite impossible to do so so yeah, this we are bouncing from there so still no entry on the bearish side yeah, quite sketchy Quite, it's, it feels bad to waste these entries uh, I mean, after having such a good with such volume and not being able to enter yeah, that would be that would be quite sketchy, I would say yes yeah, that will require a lot of a review okay, taking these buys and I'm shifting into sales, but not here yet because there's no break and retest. Then the price is bouncing back up, so it's quite sketchy. The only thing is, might, might have been that one. Okay, let's see another day uh, with the blackboard. Okay, so let's go into a Tuesday and the 14th of uh, March. Coming into New York Open, I don't know if there was any news on the 14 looks like some day of CPI yeah CPI and uh, yeah. slightly decreasing so and let's see at it of course we wait for the spike up and down as you can see spike down then up I'm still on a bullish bias because we saw that the CPI is decreasing so we might expect uh, possible um, that the, possibly that the Fed does not need to hike that much at the June meeting at the May meeting <coughs> let's see if we have some clean price action over here or we have to enter very aggressively first reaction at the key level and then the bounce yeah, the bounce would have resulted in a loss. Uh, over here, minus 15. Let's see what is the price action telling us. Do we break below these lows? Do we bounce again? Yeah, we bounced so far. We might take very high risk a reward entry but it's very very high risk look at the bearish pressure of these candles and we are only taking our sort of our opinion it will still be a win so uh, i would count it in yes that will be a win further rejection of here possible break above but price is staying over there it's in the back into the middle of the range i would love to see candle breaking clearly above there possible enter over here but getting stopped out i would say yeah a lot very very slow volume even if i was still live should have been still live over there then there's this lack of volume that brought out uh, brought the price to to reverse and go back into the range if the price start now stays below there we might expect it to continue down after seeing this multiple rejections over there so we might even take this high risk high reward entry yeah 20 pips let's see if now it stops over here yeah no nope. uh, enter over there i think that would be i don't know if that would be a loss or not from this yeah, probably from this area yes <clears throat> minus 
15. But still, the trade idea is still valid because it's still another rejection. If we close below, I still might expect the price to continue down. Yes, as you can see over here. Any entry over there. I think the actual first retest, retest will be over there. Would still be would be a win now. Now we are seeing another bounce from these lows. Let's see if we break below now these lows for oh, continuation. Bearish. Yes, as you can see, we see the breakery test of these lows by staying below, and that's where we could take our continuation cells. Or take possibly sales over there. And that will be a plus 45. Okay, to end the day. Uh, let's see now the reaction over there. Let's see if it will break above. I think there will be another slide for these days. If it breaks above, breaks above this previous PSA, then we can see the Continuation bullish. Okay. Let's see. With the next one. Black board over here. Okay, let's see the last hour. So this was, we already saw it, we're going to dip below and then push back up. So uh, as I said, I had these previous PSAs of interest for the continuation buys. Now that we are seeing the possible, um, this strong rejection, this could also be high risk high reward entry. As you can see over here, but we already saw it in the first one. Mm, I didn't remember, but yes, this will be the first one. Now let's see the other PSAs. This one will probably be a loss. Yes, now I want to see if it still bounces from these previous weeks. Okay, no, not from these weeks, but, uh, no, okay. Um, okay, I want to see, okay, it's bouncing from this PSA. Now with a lot of, um, a little bit more volume, still we can, still be respecting a bearish structure so quite a mixed bias at the moment i would say because i'm not seeing that strength in the in bias anymore okay i'm not look, I'm looking at the other screen when this happened i want to see this press action this psa to be broken this one, this one. Okay. Let's see. We're broken and retested. Yeah, there's not much of volume. It's the end of London session anyway. There's not much of volume left. So this was it. So that was a, a very high risk high reward entry, I would say. On the bullish bias on the bullish side um that would be a win to the, to the upside and yes so guys i hope you enjoyed this session and i will see you next time